So welcome to my YouTube channel. That's what we call the good life. Today, I'm in the fortunate position to have been sent this amazing mini electric chainsaw saw, um, which is really gonna help me on my allotment and um, sawing all those branches and trees that I need to do. So I'm gonna go through um, how this works and tell you a little bit more about it. Now, if you've not already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so, because you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my allotment, my home garden, and from time to time, my home kitchen. Now, I was contacted by this company called Saker. Would I like to try this product out? Now, I don't know about anyone else, but at the moment, all we do is just saw branches off when we need to do it on our apple trees um, and on our other trees up at the allotment, or we use the big, um, the big um, clippers and separate tools and things like that. So to be given this and to have the opportunity to give it a good test is a really good opportunity and I'm really looking forward to seeing the benefits of having it. So when you open it up and everything is in there that you need, there's some really good instructions which obviously you do need to read, which I'll go through a little bit more while I'm using it. It's really important that you read that. Um, it comes with everything that you need. So on the side of the box, you've got all the bits that you need. So you've got a charger, you've got the battery, you've got some liquid to, um, to kind of lubricate the chain with. Obviously there's a chain and there's a couple of tools there and obviously the, the item itself. And um, now the chain is um, obviously on, the, um, on this, so you don't need to put it on for you. So that's the battery. So there is the charger. And here is the actual electric chainsaw itself. Now it's really, really easy to clip on. So you just slide the battery straight on to the item like that. Very, very fortunately, it actually comes already charged, um, but when it does need recharging, obviously you've got the charger there and you've got all the other little bits, screwdriver, the chain oil, and also another little handy tool there as well. And you can test whether the, it is charged just by pressing the little button there and it tells me that that is fully charged so we are ready to go. So all that's left for me to do now is to pop up the allotment and to show you the mini chainsaw in action. So here we are at the allotment and it's decided to rain on us but never mind we're still going to get cracking. So we've got the saw here and um, one thing, um, if you do it, like I said, you must read the instructions from front to back. There aren't that many, but do please read them. But one of the things it does say is to um, make sure there's a little bit of give in the, chain, in the chain itself. Now, when it first arrived, it wasn't. It was just completely tight. So you just use these two little tools here to adjust it. So one the screwdriver goes in there and this goes just over there. So we just adjusted it just a little bit, just to make sure it had a little bit of you. Um, and then you've got a little bit of the oil, for the chainsaw, and we're just gonna drop a little bit on that as well. Just ever so gently, just a little bit, just to keep it going. There we go, there's a little bit of the chainsaw oil on there. Now, if you want to purchase one of these mini chainsaws, um, you can get them on Amazon. Now we're gonna put a link up there so if you like um, what you see when you see this being demonstrated, you can easily buy one for yourself. They're not very expensive. Um, and I think you'll probably agree that it's probably worth the investment to save you so much time spending hours absolutely soaring. So the next thing we need to do is we need to put the battery on. Now, obviously, you don't go oiling things or touching anything when you've got the battery on for safety reasons. So we've adjusted it, we've put the oil on. So now we're going to pop the battery on like so. So... I've got a pair of gloves to um, help protect my hands. I'm sure it'd be fine anyway, but it's always worth having a decent pair of gloves. And I've also got a pair of goggles. Even though I've got glasses on, um, I still wouldn't want to damage my sight glasses. So if you've not got a pair of um, eye protectors, it's worth getting these again. You can get these off of Amazon um, quite cheaply, and it's well worth it, not just for this, but for lots of other jobs as well. So we're gonna put a link up there. So if you'd like to get the goggles as well, you can do that too. So I'm just gonna pop those on. Now, the thing is, now where do we start up the allotment? There's always plenty to do, isn't it? Well, our composter continually gets overgrown and the trees hang over and they really get in the way and make it hard. Um, for Because we want the moisture to go onto the composters because it helps it compose down. So we're gonna remove a few 
of the branches as a demonstration. Now, if I can just show you how you use the chainsaw, you have to push that button down and then you push that one in. So you push that down, pull that in, and hey presto, we're in business. So let's get over. I've, I've earmarked a, a branch that I want to have a go at. In fact, I've got a couple. Um, and I'm going to take this one out because obviously it's causing a lot of not letting the moisture come down to my composter. So you just hold it and you don't do a sawing action. You literally just hold it on it and just let it do the work for you. So just like that. Incredibly easy, incredibly quickly. Let's just do another one. So this is the other one that I've earmarked. Make sure I'm secure before I start. So I'm going to hold the branch very carefully at arm's length, push the button down, pull it in. And honestly, that's ridiculously easy. <laughs> the hard bit is getting the truth done. I'll deal with those later. Let's put this down. Now I'm going to be really honest with you. I've never used anything like this ever before. I'm a complete novice at using something like this. And I actually can't believe how easy it was to cut those branches without very little or well, no effort whatsoever. You just use the tool and it does it for you. So, so much easier than having to saw something off by hand. So I'd love to know um, what you think about the saw, whether it's something that you think would be a benefit to you. And obviously if you would like it, there will be some links on the screen. There'll be some links in the description. So if you'd like to get yourself one to add to your allotment tools, then you can do so.